crops. They give us corn, wheat, a place to set a horror film, proof of aliens, but more importantly, help you remove an area of your video. Cropping a video can have many different uses. Maybe you're needing to change the aspect ratio, or you're trying to include multiple shots in one frame or as a transition. And the easiest way to do all of that is by using the crop tool inside of Premiere Pro. First, we're gonna drag and drop the effect to our clip in the timeline, and then go to our effects panel and adjust the settings by changing the percentage input or by clicking on the effect and then dragging the handles located in the program monitor. Now, let's say you want to put your subject in a perfect square. You can change the percentage to all the same number or click the crop effect, then drag the crop box to your preferred position. From here, if you're looking to keep the shape where it is, but you wanna adjust the framing of your video, instead of having to redo the whole thing, you can go to effects, offset, and drag that effect above the crop tool. Now you can change the offset settings to fine tune your frame while keeping the shape you created in the same place. If you wanted your crop to move, you can animate that into position by checking the four stopwatches here, moving a few frames back, then setting your percentage to 100. You can then right click your keyframes and use an ease on the animation to smooth them in. Now you have this square reveal. Another option, if you want complete control, is by using the masking tool. You can click on your clip here, then go to the effects panel and opacity, click on this pen, and now you can draw any shape that you're looking to create. Then you can adjust, feather, whatever you need, and you're done. The great thing about using the mask tool is you have a lot more flexibility to get as creative as you'd like. For instance, if you want to animate some footage in the shape of a circle, highlight your clip, click on the circle to create an ellipse mask, adjust your framing, then go to your effects controls, click on the mask expansion stopwatch. Now lower the mask expansion until you can't see the shape. Then go a few frames forward and set the expansion to zero. Now you will have this mask reveal and you don't have to stick to a circle shape. You can make any shape that you would like with the pen tool and then repeat the same steps. If you're looking to get an effect like this where your subject is inside of a framed shape, go to your toolbar, click and hold the rectangle tool, then choose the shape you want. For this example, let's go with the polygon tool. Now go to your central graphics panel, make sure your shape layer is highlighted and change the amount of vertices your polygon has. And you can also round out the edges. Now deselect your graphic, go to effects, track matte key, then add this to your clip. Change the matte to whatever layer the graphic you created is on, and you should now have your framed out clip. If you want to adjust the framing, again, just add that offset above the track matte key and you'll be able to adjust your position. The final step to add a border is to click on your graphic and while holding either Alt for Windows or Option for Mac, drag the graphic layer to create a duplicate. Put this duplicate under your video track, basically sandwiching your clip, and now you can add a stroke with whatever color your editing heart desires. Just make sure your stroke is either on the center or outer area of the shape. You can also animate this by highlighting the three layers, right-clicking and turning them into a nest, then add the transform tool and keyframe the animation as you'd like. This can be great to use for tutorials, music videos, or cheesy 90s sitcoms. When cropping for a specific aspect ratio, if your entire project is in that ratio, I prefer to adjust the size of the sequence as a whole. But if you have a project with mixed aspect ratios, you can create an adjustment layer, pop on the crop effect, and add your widescreen bars or side crops here. By doing it this way, you allow yourself the room to alter the position and reframe the footage since you're adding the crop above it and not to the clip itself. But there you have a few ways to use your crop and masking tools. If there's something that you would like to see us cover in the future, or you have a question, just leave a comment in the notes below.